very expensive haircut, a whole year of NBA salary on tattoos, in love with the burgers, nicknamed after a burrito, and on the other side, some of them under fat. The NBA has a very interesting body transformations and some of them you won't believe they are the same guy. $60 for a haircut is a very high price, especially when you make a $27 million per year. When Steven Adams entered the league in 2013, he was well shaved with common haircut. So he was not the best center that he can be, and his 3 points per game proved that. Then he decided to make a testosterone boost, and speaking very supportively on sauna, for the next 4 years focused on intense training to become a warrior with that along he grew a beard and a tattoo sleeve. That gave him the nickname of Aquaman. If you have not seen Steven Adams from 2013 till 2017, you would be shocked to see this enormous transformation. But not only his looks got different, also his game reached another level. From his 3 points per game, Adams averaged 14 points and 9 boards and became a powerhouse he aimed to be. Not be confused by his looks, he just turned 29 years old. Imagine spending a year of NBA salary on your body just to look like a Halloween costume. Yep, that actually happened. When Chris Anderson entered the league he looked like any other player, but he had an addiction with the needle. When he signed with New Orleans his appearance started to change. He started putting 15 tattoos a season and called that his addiction. But he had a double life when in 2006 he got positive for multiple drugs and he was banned from the league for two years and got all the time to ink himself. When he came back in 2008, 80% of his body was covered in tattoos and with a ridiculous haircut he got his nickname the Birdman. Chris Anderson called himself a billboard. I'm a walking billboard. And also stated that his tattoos are all from the same artist. Shout out to the artist that got himself an NBA paycheck. This guy had to eat burgers to be the most dominant center in the NBA today. And he does it before the game. Joel Embiid was not this powerful dominant frame that we all see now. At the age of 16, he was a very skinny athletic boy. His main goal was to gain weight to be competitive in the NBA. He was struggling with that so he had to spend a lot of time in the weight room and also a lot of fast food to become this monster that we all know. He put 90 pounds from his high school till his college, but from his poor diet he became fat and with fat comes injury. He was injured his first two years and now it's all muscle and MVP candidate for years to come. Speaking of fast food, how about getting your nickname after a burrito? Specifically, a big burrito, aka Mark Gasol. The younger Gasol brother went to high school in Memphis, but boy, he couldn't took his eyes from Burger King. He did not speak English very well, but he loved it America because of their fast food and he describes as delicious and spending a lot of time eating a burrito when he was named the big burrito. The pounds keep piling up and he did not receive a college offer beside the good skills he had, so he came back to Barcelona. Then he had a diet without the red meat, sugar and fast food and started his career at Memphis at age of 23 with still some weight on top but as the years gone by he trained and focused on the transformation of his body and became more mobile and now stands as NBA champion and a defensive player of the year. A lot of players were out of shape because of pure diet but not Giannis. Actually he was under fat back in Greece in his young age and basketball was his only way out for him and his family. Giannis came to the NBA on 6'8", 180 pounds and maybe you think that is huge but it's nothing compared to what he transformed to. During his second season he grew up 3 inches and gained 50 pounds of muscle. His diet was 6 meals per day all with clean carbs, protein, fruits and vegetables and 6 days of weight room and from a bench player in the front of our eyes became the freak and this stuff for him is very common. Finding Giannis. <laughs> also the skinny Greek became the face of the NBA. Speaking of Giannis becoming the face of the NBA, this video is going to show you how Giannis and the Europeans are dominating the NBA and will in the near future. So check it out. 